it's still feeding off the engine. It's using the TARDIS. I can't stop it. Never mind, Cardiff. It's going to rip off from the planet. What is it? What's happening? Oh, just live on me. <laughs> One wrong move and she snaps like a promise. I might have known. I've had you bleating <laughs> all night, poor baby. Now shut it. You, fly boy. Put the extrapolator at my feet. <laughs> Just as I planned. I thought you needed to blow up the nuclear power station. Failing that, if I were to be arrested, then anyone capable of tracking me down would have considerable technology of their own. Therefore, they would be captivated by the extrapolator. Especially a magpie mind like yours, Doctor. So the extrapolator was programmed to go to plan B. To lock on to the nearest alien power source and open the rift. And what a power source it found. I'm back on schedule. Thanks to you. The rift's gonna convulse, you'll destroy the whole planet. And you with it! <laughs> While I ride this board over the crest of the inferno all the way to freedom. Stand back, boys. Serves up. Of course, opening the rift means you'll pull this ship apart. So soon. It's not just any old power source. It's the TARDIS. My TARDIS. The best ship in the universe. It'll make wonderful scrap. What's that like? The heart of the TARDIS. This ship's alive. You've opened its soul. It's... so bright. Look at it, Margaret. Beautiful. Look inside Blonfell Fudge. Look at the light. 